I'm Tim Herrera with the Sacramento County Office of Education here with another Teacher of the Year profile. We're here with Kimberly Butler who is the Teacher of the Year for 2015 for the Center Joint Unified School District. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Tell us, tell us where you teach and what you teach. Well, I teach at Antel in Antelope, California at Spinelli Elementary School. I'm a special education teacher. I work with students with autism. Okay. And so um, what grade levels do you teach? What are the age, what's the age group of your students? Currently, um, my program has four staff members and 13 students, and I teach second, third, and fourth grade. Okay. So explain the, 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 the type of students that you teach and, and the challenges that you face in the classroom dealing with students with special needs. Well, I actually began my career as an educator as a regular education teacher. And after being laid off due to budget cuts, I went back and received my master's in special education. And then through SCOE, I went through an autism institute to specialize in autism. And so having said that, uh, it definitely has changed my journey as an educator, uh, one that I'm very appreciative of and feel very blessed to be part of. So explain kind of the type of students you have and the wide range of, of needs that they have. You know, every student is so unique and uh, it's become my philosophy to reach every single student that walks into my door, whether or not it be my student or neighboring uh, classroom students or um, children in the community that come into my home in the evening. Uh, I feel that um, it's, it's part of my job, uh, whether I'm at school or I'm at home, to educate those around me on um, autism and how we can best support. Uh, community members that are on the spectrum. So explain what it's like to work with students um, with autism because within that segment of the population there's mm -hmm. such a wide range of abilities. Yeah there is and if, even for you to say explain how to work with the student it truly depends on the student mm -hmm. and uh, many students just um, need things written out or they may need um, pictures or icons used uh, many times when you're working with a student on the spectrum and it's not uh, an activity that they would prefer to do, it's nice to have a reinforcer, something that they really want to do and uh, kind of like a paycheck that they get after the given activity is done or lesson. And so there's a different series of motivations for each student as well. Definitely. To get them to, to progress. As there is with all of us though. Yeah, true. Mm -hmm. And so uh, what kind of steered you in that direction? Uh, to, to, to get into special education? You know, uh, I was laid off and I was driving my husband and five children crazy being at <laughs> home. I had a huge honeydew list and I created tutoring sessions after school for all, all five children even though they didn't need it and volunteered in their classrooms and I was, I, I felt empty not having a classroom. I feel teaching is one of those things where it's a calling and um, besides being a mother and uh, a wife, I feel it's something that um, I don't feel complete unless I have a classroom. So I prayed about it and I felt called to go back to school and um, focus on special education. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. And so, so how long have you taught your career? How long has your career been? Um, 19 years okay. and I started out as an aide at a Montessori school um, and then went on to being a preschool teacher while I put myself through school at Sac State and then um, taught as a substitute teacher and then taught as an elementary school and middle school teacher and then now working with students on the spectrum. And so in that amount of time during your teaching career, what do you think have been some of the biggest changes in education uh, for you or for the students? You know, uh, I would like to say, well gosh, I, anytime I have a platform to speak on autism, I really do appreciate the opportunity and having said that, autism is on the rise and um, a professor that I once had said we're doing an incredible job meeting the needs of the students um, in the classroom setting, the younger students, but what are we doing to prepare society for them in the next five to ten years? Mm -hmm. And um, I have made it my mission to not only uh, educate my students but to educate others around me on the field of autism and how to be a good friend to someone on the spectrum and be supportive. So in that amount of time that you've been teaching, there have been some you know, changes in education and, and, and expectations of teachers. Do you find, do you find that increasing? Uh, it seems that the more you're in education, the more expectations there are. 
You know, uh, no, I, I feel that um, to be an educator, I have high expectations upon myself and I'm continually, continually trying to grow as an educator. Um, I don't need the state to put extra standards or expectations upon myself. I'm not happy unless I'm meeting the needs of every student in my classroom. As a special education teacher, though, there are quite a few expectations um, required of me. Every student has an IEP, and so uh, we have individual academic plans, and we meet with parents and um, other members of the team to develop uh, goals and benchmarks to meet each individual student. So a typical teacher doesn't have to do that part of it. And so it's it's a crazy busy job and I would not trade it for the world. Yes. And the days go quickly I would imagine because there's so much to do. So much fun. So what motivates you uh, as a teacher? What, what is, is there one thing that kind of sparks you every day? Yes. <laughs> I <laughs> Very personally, every morning I wake up and I pray that God fill me with His love and allow me to touch as many, te as many children as possible. And at the end of the night, I'm exhausted with my job and um, my role as a mother and a wife and very fulfilled, very mm -hmm. fulfilled. So that's my motivation. I, I want every child to want to be part of my classroom, not just my students. I want um, my students to feel like they have the most incredible classroom on the planet, and I want every student to leave every day feeling very smart and wanting to come back tomorrow. So, so uh, what kind of a sales pitch would you give to someone who's considering teaching as a profession, and and maybe even considering special education? You know, what are what are some of the the things that you would tell them to say? You know, it, it, you know, this is what I think you should consider. I would welcome them, invite them into my classroom, and um, truly give them an opportunity to be a part of my classroom community and feel uh, the, the many different joys of working with students on the spectrum and also um, developing relationships with their parents and their family and celebrating each child on a daily basis. And uh, I would also recommend that they take the Autism Institute course here at SCOE. That really did help support me as a special education teacher working with kids on the spectrum. And, and making a connection with those kids and seeing them progress uh, must really make you feel a lot of joy when that happens. <laughs> it's amazing. It's amazing. I had uh, over this last year a student that will be um, completely out of special education um, and going into a regular classroom setting next year. And at the meeting, her parents suggested it, and my first response was, no, I love her. I want her back next year because I do teach that grade level up. And um, I stopped and I thought, oh my goodness, this means I did my job. And uh, her parents did their job, and she did her job. So it's a moment of celebration. Mm -hmm. And it's that way with every student. Mm -hmm. Well, so explain what it means to you to be named as a teacher of the year, representing all the teachers in your district. It's a wonderful honor, but I must say there are many colleagues that I work with that um, should have the same title. Uh, it's, it, it, to teach, it's, um, it's something that you have to be, you truly have to experience before you can, uh, you can appreciate uh, the hard work and dedication of so many people involved. But it's quite an honor, isn't it? Incredible honor. And a responsibility. Yes, it is. Yes, mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations to you and, Thank and, and you. for this honor. We've been speaking with Kimberly Butler, who is the Teacher of the Year for 2015 for yes. the Center Joint Unified School District. Thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you.